ISO, yeah, we trending. Watch what you say, don't offend them. They keep in the real, they commend them. People like get your wife pregnant, but I ain't trying to be dependent. Is masculinity needed in our society? Is masculinity needed in our society? That's an interesting question. A woman can be masculine. Yeah, that's true. A man can be feminine. But I'm so. mainly talking about men, you know? Do you think having masculine men is necessary in no. society? Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> Definitely not. Should obesity be glorified? Yes. What makes you say that? Because you should embrace yourself. Do you think like maybe uh, you know, in the media, it's like a lot of plus size models are getting promoted. Do you think that's like a positive thing or a negative thing? Positive. Is masculinity needed in our society? To me, everything is about balance, you know. Even when they come to crime and police, like, you know what I'm saying? For, in order for the world to go around, you need everything that's in the world. So, you know, it's all about balance. It's good. For In order for it to be good, it got to be evil. That's just me. You feel? Okay, so how many genders are there? You said 100 genders? Oh, never. Yeah. I'm done. Bye. It, hell yeah, we need masculinity. It's too much female shit going on around this motherfucker, man. <laughs> See, all these motherfucking niggas acting like females with female traits and shit, man. You feel me? It ain't, no more, it ain't no more real niggas out here. We need some more masculinity, some more real niggas, you feel me? Because it did too many niggas acting like bitches these days, bro. That's what I'm talking about! How many genders are there? Two. Two. Why? Because scientifically, there's there's only I feel like there's only two. I feel like proven by science, there's only two. It's also you know our belief. You know we're out saying that you know we believe that God created man and woman. So you don't believe there are more than hundred genders? No. No. How many genders are there? Um, I think gender is whatever you determine it to be. I don't think it's my job or anybody else's job to tell someone who they are. It's based on how they feel, right? It's based on how you feel. So two genders is kind of like an outdated thing, right? Two genders is outdated. All y'all niggas gossiping. Y'all doing all that extra little female Gossiping shit. more than the hoe. Exactly. Like, acting like females and y'all emotions and shit. When well, look, look, look. That was, exactly my, that was exactly my point. We need them in order for niggas like us to thrive. Yeah. Good shit. Matter of fact, we do need y'all. Yeah, we need y'all. Hey, look. The more, the more y'all niggas acting feminine shit, the more us niggas going to strive in the world because we going to get all the bitches. That's what I'm talking about. Are you aware of the Andrew Tate band? Yeah, I am. Do you think it was just? I, I absolutely do. I think that he's pretty misogynistic, he's pretty awful, he's involved in like, you know, like, I feel like really awful, like, prostitution rings in like Romania and stuff like that. He's all around like a terrible guy, I don't think that it's, 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 you know, a, a bad thing, necessarily. So we're sitting there at the police station, the prosecutor says, yes, we searched your house. I'm like, alright, good, what'd you find? Well, nothing. But the, the, the report said that you were holding people hostage. I said, bro, there was no one at my house. He goes, yes, I know. Well, we checked the CCTV. I said, oh, what did you find? The girl who made the complaints was outside the gates taking pizza delivery and coming back inside. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting there laughing. The police are laughing. The prosecutor is laughing. And then I went home. Why do you believe in God? I just don't understand how like all this could be possibly created without a God. Like, it's just like, it's too complex. There's too many things that work out so perfectly where it'd be like, it just doesn't make sense if there was no God. I definitely concur with what he said. I'm um, definitely with the creation. It makes seems to make a lot more sense. Um, but I would also say that on top of that, um, in my personal life, it has just been something that I went for a long time without thinking about it and you know, just kind of running my own life. And I, I came to a point where I started you know, to read scriptures and to pray uh, to God more. And that is the point where I started to begin to feel more joy. And I, I, that's really why I believe because I've had that. You felt that positive energy, right? I have. I felt that testify to me. Should hate speech be allowed? It should be allowed. Why? The freedom of speech. You think some people are going to get offended, maybe? If they get offended, it's between them. Yeah, 100% they're going to get offended. Okay. So freedom of speech fully? Yeah. Do you think hate speech should be banned? Everybody got their own entitled to their own opinion. So if you hate me, I mean, you just a fucking hater. But at the end of the day, nigga, you feel the way you feel. I'm feel the way I feel. But I advise everybody not to hate, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because if you a hater, nigga, then whatever somebody else doing, you can go do that shit too. Don't hate. Use that as motivation. You feel me? To go do what you want to do in life. So, like, I mean, so. But you need, it's never going to be love. It's it's never going to be all love. You got to have hate Balance. with love. You got to have hate with love. So you're, you agree with the freedom of speech? It's okay to maybe disagree with someone or say potentially hurtful things? 
but you should be it should be like legal you know so you should be okay yeah sometimes 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 that shit like motivate people to go and do stuff and like change you know what i'm saying like it just it depends like who you are if you're too sensitive and you can't take criticism then you just soft you know what i'm saying but if you if you use what somebody say and you don't let sticks and stones break your bones you know what i'm saying i learned that since i was a kid yeah. like it, it, that's what somebody else think and that's their thoughts as long as you control your own thoughts that's all that matters hey listen we did meet some npcs however we found some people with great responses at the end of the day man it's ucla we're gonna find different type of people it is what it is but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and subscribe and catch you guys later in the next video peace